I don't know if it's going to come out. That's how I was trying to wait. But welcome on into the room. Welcome on into the room. My name is Lisa Smiles. If this is your first time watching me, I'm a natural hair specialist here in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. And here on my channel, we're going to kiki. We're going to get that word up in you. And if the spirit move me, if the spirit move, if the spirit, ooh, Lord, if, I, if the spirit move, I'm gonna beat my tambourine, okay? And we're gonna get your natural hair together. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get your natural hair together. So welcome all the Smiles Tribe members, and welcome to the new Smiles Tribe that is going ahead and migrating over to this channel and. I certainly appreciate you. Tonight, we got a topic. What did I put? Things you shouldn't be doing to your natural hair. So this was the lesson I was trying to teach like last week, but y'all know the spirit had moved. You know what I'm saying? It went to a whole story time and I ain't even, we ain't even get to the lesson, but we're going to get to the lesson tonight. We're going to get to the lesson tonight and I'm going to give y'all some gems. So go ahead and share this out to your homegirl that you know is over there jacking up their head. You look at, you see them every day. We're like, man, what she done did now? Go ahead and share her this video. And look, sister, if you, if she came, if, if you are here on the behalf of your coworker, no harm. She just wants you to come over here and kiki, get a little word in you and get your hair together. Okay. We all in this thing together. Okay. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Tracy Ann is first in the building. She in the vestibule. Tonight is youth night. You know, we're going to, we're going to break the word down <laughs> bible study bible study for your hair okay we're gonna break the word down here a little there a little precept upon precept we're gonna break it down what you should not be doing to your natural hair if you want to keep it healthy so tracy ann is first in the building uh saying hey smiles try she oh, oh come on now tracy ann got a little strawberry she got a little purr pear it's pear, pear, a little mango, and some water. Tracy and I appreciate that. Let me drink. I got my little mason jar because y'all talked about me last week. Y'all talked about me so bad that I'm I'm ashamed. I should have got some more water, but the straw is still long. I know, I know. Don't judge me. Judge your Tupperware. Don't, don't judge what I'm doing over here, okay? But Tracy Ann got us some fruit and some water, and I'm glad she got us some fruit and some water because, honey, when last time you had some fruit? Honey, when last time you had some water? I need to prop my, I'm supposed to be doing this, propping my leg up just a little bit, okay? Tracy Ann, Lisa got the temporary. <laughs> I set up there just so y'all can get a little key key. I said, oh, yeah, they're going to be rolling when they see the tambourine just sitting in the chair. Y'all, I really do be around here at Sidebar. I really do be around here in the house just randomly beat my tambourine. Like, I want y'all to know that. Like, I bring this tambourine in here for the live stream, but y'all know me. I be having church up in this house. I just be randomly playing praise and worship music. Child, I come back here and start getting my tambourine because I be, I be into it. You know what I'm saying? I be into it. I be into it. I don't know if my neighbors be hearing me, but they better come over here and get some of this Jesus juice. Okay? All right, and then Acacia is here in the building. Did my, did it go off? I was trying to see if my air fryer went off. I had something in the air fryer. I'm going to go get it in like two minutes. Sorry, y'all. I know multitasking. I already ate, but I was cooking some more for dinner. I mean, for lunch tomorrow. You know, a little, little meal prep. And so Acacia said, greetings, smell truck. I smell it. Let me go get my chicken. Lord Jesus, hold on, Lord. Okay, y'all. Okay, I know that was ghetto. I know that was ghetto. I know that was ghetto. Commercial break. And when my when my channel get monetized, they're gonna go ahead and put a uh, com they're gonna go ahead and put a advertisement right there. But uh, I had to go get my little chicken wine. I'm always eating. I'm always 
eating a little chicken wine. Well, it's not really a chicken wine, but I'm always eating chicken. What's wrong with me? I just love some chicken. But anyway, um, Q Scott is in here coming in the building with the praises. Beating her tambourine, beating her drum. Hey, Q Scott. Hey, 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 Q Scott. Welcome on into the room. Um, Tracy Ann said, Lisa, your hair is cute. Are those flat twists in the front? Spin the chair. <laughs> Spin the chair around and show us. Yeah. And y'all, I, I was doing my hair when I was on So So Live. I was multitasking. So this in the front is two strand twists. And then I got it flat twisted in the back. And so I did this in like an hour watching So So's Live. So flat twists don't have the part, don't have the straightest part, but that's okay. I was trying to figure out what to do to my hair because I'm going to get it done. And like I got a photo shoot coming up. So I was trying to think of something to do like in between before I uh, slap this other hair in here for my photo shoot. But yeah, so thank you Tracy Ann for that compliment. Uh, Acacia said, jacking up that head. <laughs> yes, Acacia. Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Acacia. Saying, there go that bitch straw again. Acacia, mind your business. <laughs> I'm just playing, bitch, sis. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Lisa said, Jesus juice. <laughs> Yes, Jesus Juice. Uh oh, Queen Heart in the building. Y'all know Queen Heart be over there fighting. I don't fight. <laughs> what TG say? I don't fight. I I just play. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Just playing. I'm really just playing. I'm 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 just a sweetheart. You know, I don't cause nobody no harm. I don't be causing no drama. Okay, and Queen Heart said, "Hey, Smiles Tribe, looking beautiful, Queen Lisa. Love the hair, dude. Thank you, Queen Heart. I appreciate that." Uh, Acacia said she couldn't help it. I know you couldn't help it. I know you couldn't help it. Well, without further ado, the moderator is in the building tonight. So we, we praise God for that. And then this is a random sidebar. This is a random sidebar. And I know she about to roll her eyes when I say her name. Can we just thank God for God just touching Q Scott Hart to just be a temporary moderator at some times when the head usher is running late on Sophia Live. Can we just praise God for that? Because Q Scott was trying to be rebellious. Y'all know Q Scott would give a rebuttal. She you know, should give a rebuttal now. She'll shut us down about that retreat. But she was trying to get her moderation changed to something regular. But God has called you to be higher, higher, higher. So we just thank God for... Q Scott has been obedient to the spirit, and <laughs> I know she rolled her eyes. <laughs> she was not trying to be no moderator, and she was just waiting for Sophia to uh, move her back. But the Lord came in. I'm just glad God touched her heart, and He keep touching her heart on this retreat. You know what I'm saying? Touch your heart on this retreat. Touch your heart, Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right, so um, that's all we got. So the debt demolisher is in the building tonight. Our financial uh pastor, thank you so much for joining. She came in and said, Yes, Q Scott. <laughs> yes, yes. And um Q Scott said, No, I was not. <laughs> we had to pray that we had to pray that rebellious spirit about her. That was a woo, we was tearing around that altar for a long time that night. What we acacia? What we acacia? We were holding her up. She falling out. We we just trying to, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to, you know? <laughs> Not the light microphone whisper. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm going to get up here and cut up now. I'm going to get up here and cut up for a good 10 minutes, okay? I'm a, yes, we were, Acacia said. I'm going to get up here and cut up. So, without further ado... Oh, where's my notes? Because I actually walked, wrote down some notes. I hope I saved it on my phone. If not, we will move by the spirit. Um, the debt demolition said, Right, Q Scott, I am crying at Lisa whispering in the mind. <laughs> I was not being a rebellious spirit, you admit. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> okay, I got my notes up. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> y'all ready? We got like key keys out the way. So I'm going to be explaining to you what are some things you should not be doing to your hair. Y'all know I preach on my channel ways to keep your hair healthy and how to keep it flourishing. But there are still some things that needs to be discussed. Some some of these things y'all might all already know. But again, it might be some new people. Some people might watch this in replay and they might not know it. And honestly, I just be surprised with being a stylist how sometimes I'll get new clients and they be doing these things to their hair. And I'd be like, what? Like, I thought y'all knew this. But obviously, everybody don't. Everybody don't. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. So this ain't in no particular order. I just kind of jot down some things that came to my mind. It is probably definitely more than this list, but I'm going to just go ahead and go down the list. Number one, if y'all ready for number one, put it in the chat. Y'all ain't got to take notes. Or no well, y'all could. Y'all can take notes if you want to, but you don't. It's not like you have to, like we're doing a contest nothing. If we just, I just want y'all to get the knowledge up in there, okay? All right, so y'all put number one. Lisa, all... Ready acting up. I see your shirt starting early. Totally a Leo move. Oh no, my shirt say, baby girl. Uh-uh. Queens are born in July. <laughs> I just had to be petty. But anyway, okay, so number one, what you should not be doing to your hair is co-washing. 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 Now I know this is kind of like a uh, some people co-wash, some people don't, but most of the time, the people that I see that's dealing with a lot of buildup and dryness are the people that's co-washing. Now, there are some people that co-wash, and if, look, if ain't, if ain't broke, don't fix it. But for some people, you co-wash it, and it's actually doing you more harm than good, especially if you're seeing that you cannot retain that moisture in your hair, and you're just having problems. You should not be co-washing. And the reason why I say you should not be co-washing, because I give this analogy all the time, and y'all probably have heard me say it before, co-washing is like you go to work all day, you get off work, you go work out, after you work out, you get in the shower, you rinse your body off with water, you don't use no soap, you don't use no body wash, you just rinse it. You just rinse it. You get out the shower, you dry off, and you put lotion on. Now you tell me, if that thing clean, you tell me, you tell me, okay? I'm going to let you be the judge of that. So that is my whole analogy with co-washing. That's why I'm not a big fan of it. A lot of times people co-wash because they're trying to be lazy. They don't really feel like doing the whole shampoo day because it's a lot of work. But here on my channel, I try to teach y'all how to make things more efficient and how to speed up the process. I did a short the other day and I had showed how it's two strands. I had shampooed my client hair and I two strand twist her hair into jumbo twists when I was putting a conditioner in. Basically just making the process a little bit more easier. And I think Tracy Ann, you had asked me on that short, should we be washing our hair in sections? Yes and no. If you're the type of person that uh, have a whole lot of hair and it seems overwhelming, Washing your hair in sections might not be a, I mean, will be a good idea because sometimes you can get overwhelmed. You can miss uh, some sections in the back. So if you have really, really thick hair, it's really long and it seems overwhelming, by all means, you might benefit washing your hair in sections so you can make sure you get all the product, all the dirt, all the build up off your hair. So um, I would rather, instead of you co-washing, I would rather you shampoo one time really, really quickly and do a conditioner, leave it in for two minutes and rinse it out before you co-wash. Even though you probably should shampoo two times. But if you're pressed for time, I would rather you do that than co-wash. That's just my professional opinion. Um, and also, yes, if you're going to wash in sections, you also can, well, I, I don't want to say wash. If you're going to shampoo, you can do it in sections. You can do the jumbo twist. You can do four twists and you can hold it and like get in your scalp and do like that. So, and then you can just keep the twist in, rinse it out with the twist in your hair, um, uh, and put the conditioner on it. But most of the time in the shop. I don't wash my clients' hairs 
my client hair in sections because obviously I can see what's all going on. But as y'all see on some of my videos, those who have a lot of hair, I have to open the hair up and really rub that shampoo on the scalp and really work it in. Like I'd be going to work, you hear me? Be going to straight work. And I'd be like, sister, you better keep them eyes closed, sister. Because y'all know how I feel about people looking up at me at that shampoo bowl. Y'all know how I feel about that. Y'all know. And then look, if you knew you ain't never been to me, close your eyes at the shampoo bowl. Close your eyes. I'm going to just start dashing towels on people's eyes. Y'all know how I feel about that. Don't be looking up at me. <laughs> Don't be looking up at me. Close your eyes. If you go to somebody else, close your eyes on the shampoo um, time and stop moaning. Stop. Stop all that. Cut it out. Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out right now. Cut it out, all right? Just close your eyes, be quiet, and enjoy your services. Y'all be giving us a run for our money, I tell you the truth. So, yeah, so that was the first thing you shouldn't be doing. Um, The debt that mom just said, Tracy Ann, thanks for the fruit snacks tonight, yes. Acacia, the usher's already leading y'all to the like button. She said top right X, then top left like. I appreciate that, Acacia. And, yep, Q Scott is a July baby with me. Shouts out to all the July queens. Hey, we got two in a room that I know of and two days apart. That's how you know we special. We special. Queen Heart said, ew. Yeah, yeah, Queen Heart, yeah. I thought co-wash was done right before sh shampooing. Some people do co-wash before shampooing, and I think the reason why they do, do that is to help detangle your hair, but you don't really have to do that. You don't have to do a co-wash before you shampoo because that's just putting on more work because you got to co-wash, rinse it out. Then you got to shampoo at least two times, rinse it out. Then you got to put conditioner on. Right? That, that just makes the process longer, longer. And the reason why some people used to co-wash, like when YouTube first started, people were just coming out with their own mechanism of natural hair. The reason why people would co-wash before they shampoo is because they said the shampoo was very stripping and very drying to the hair. But little did they not know that they was using the wrong shampoo that was stripping their hair. They probably was using a clarifying shampoo or a shampoo with a whole lot of sulfates and stuff in it. So their hair always felt dry afterwards. So to combat that, they would co-wash first and then shampoo. In which really they made it more hard on themselves. Because it's like, even though you co-wash, you just really stripped all that stuff off by using a clarifying shampoo. Now some of them wasn't even using clarifying shampoo. Some of them that I've seen was actually using moisturizing shampoos but they were still co-washing before the shampoo again you making more work for yourself if you're using a moisturizing shampoo why are you co-washing before stop creating more work and all these routines that's unnecessary now i understand if like before you shampoo let's just say your hair is extremely tangled from taking out braids or protective style and you like lisa i need to put something on it it's nothing wrong with spraying a leave-in conditioner or actually getting a conditioner to put on your hair to soften it if you have a lot of tangles just to de to detangle it's okay if you have to do that but doing the whole process of just applying it to the whole head and that's just too much it's too much just make life easy make life easy on yourself okay uh nah cold wash ain't for me yeah i feel you q scott Queen Heart misunderstood, but honestly never sold the idea of co-wash anyway. Yeah, co-washing was really like a, a, a thing, like when this whole natural thing became very popular, like on YouTube and everybody wanted to start going natural. It was a whole thing with co-wash. Co Acacia said, close your eyes. <laughs> y'all laughing, y'all got the eyeball emoji. Anoint them with that towel over the face. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> don't give me no ideas <laughs> don't give me no ideas y'all gonna start seeing my reels and they're gonna just start having people eyes covered <laughs> think about lisa is not playing you know you got that right acacia said world famous glow butter has healing and moisturizing ingredients thank you for acacia for going ahead and dropping that link for the people thank you and she said tell it lisa 
<laughs> Thank you, Acacia. Big sister Acacia. And she also said, consider the Honey Omen line if you're looking for a moisturizing shampoo. Go ahead and click that link. I've never co-washed my hair. Good job. Work smarter, not harder. Yes. Okay, so if y'all ready for the second thing, one of the other things that you should, might, should not be doing, go ahead and drop a number two in the chat. And we're going to go ahead and give you the second thing you shouldn't be doing. And again, this ain't in no particular order. Of course, there are probably more things that you shouldn't be doing. But these are some of the things that kind of just pop out to me that I see as a stylist. Okay, so the second thing that you should not be doing all the time is wearing ponytails. Now, y'all see me. Y'all see my little baby ponytail. Look at me. <laughs> I got a ponytail. I got a ponytail. Now, I really don't wear ponytails like that. But look, at least I got some hang time. My edges are grew. I got edges now. But... I normally don't wear ponytails, okay? But I'm happy that I had my little ponytail back there. I'm happy about that. But wear ponytails all the time. And I'm also going to say ponytails slash puffs. So y'all see how I had my hair up into like the high puff? That I'm going to classify that as a ponytail too because it's still the whole purpose of gathering all your hair up into one thing and the reason why you don't want to do this all the time is because you could be splitting your ends even more so sometimes i'll see clients that come in and they wear ponytails a lot and so when i blow dry their hair out i'll notice like in the middle like their ends would be like this and then they'll go like that it'll be like up and so where it goes up is where all the damage is and so I'll ask them, I'm like, so how do you typically wear your hair? And I'm like, oh, girl, I just be lazy. I just be pulling it back into a ponytail. And so we have to be careful with those ponytails, especially like with this one. I don't have the right one on, but y'all see, this is like a, just a normal little headband um, ponytail holder. This These kind of ponytail holders are not good to wear all the time because they can actually snag your hair. They can actually be drying and cause more split ends. Same thing if you're wearing puffs. They can also cause um, your ends and your hair to split because those things are still kind of like rubbing up, up against and it's causing a whole lot of friction. So if you type of person, you wear that a lot and you're not moisturizing your hair, it can be very drying to the hair and very damaging. Now, if you're the type of person who likes to wear ponytails a lot, that's fine, but make sure you get satin line ponytail holders so it's not really uh, causing a whole lot of friction, like negative friction and causing it to frizz and your ends to break, okay? Queen Heart said, now that's hard. Yeah, but you, you still got options if you want to do um, ponytails. You just need to switch what type of things that you wearing on your hair. And then also take breaks. So y'all see, I had last week, I did, last week I was doing a lot. Well, not really. But last week, I had the flat twist in the front, and I had the twist out in the back, and then I wore that for two days. Then I put beads on the flat twist. I wore it like that, and then I just had my afro out. I took all the twists out. I had my afro out, and then for two days, I did a puff, and then tonight, I shampoo, and now I'm switching up, and I'm doing something different. Granted, I still am wearing a ponytail, but it's not, I'm not wearing a ponytail up here, but as y'all see, I rarely wear ponytails. Rarely wear ponytails. So, it's not a big issue for me. But I know some people who wear ponytails a lot. So, I'm just telling you these things to be mindful of. If you're a big ponytail wearer, you can actually be causing more harm to your hair. And um, besides the pineapple, how else shall I tame this beast? Besides the pineapple, do a protective style. Do some... Uh, you said you... You can, you can do two strand twist, fat twist, do a protective style, get you some box braid for a little while, get you a weave or just be wearing hair off my face. And yeah, that's that's fine, Queen Heart. You can wear your hair off your face, but just be mindful. Get some of those satin uh, ponytail holders if you want it off your face because there's nothing wrong with that. And then also be careful with doing a pineapple method because most of the time when people do the Oh, excuse me. Most of the time when people do the pineapple method, they're using those stretchy bands too. And if you're doing those a lot, that can cause a lot of friction and damage as well. Okay. 
And Acacia just said, are you dealing with slow or no hair growth? Consider the rosemary stimulating line. Come on now. If you don't pour your edges out, go ahead and get that rosemary and stop playing with it. Okay? Y'all ready for number three? Put a number three in the chisette. Okay? Okay, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Okay, so the third thing that you should not, the third thing that you should not be doing to your hair um, is using excessive heat. Y'all know we have a story time on this heat. Using excessive heat on your hair, especially if you're natural. If you don't know what you're doing, put them flat irons down. Put them down. Put them down. Put them down. Okay? And so when you go to the shop and you get a blowout and you notice within three or four days it's looking frizzy and you want to go pick up that flat iron. You don't know what you're doing. Put that flat iron down. Put it down. Put it down right now. Yep, you watching this video at the right time. Put it down. Because you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You're probably damaging your hair. And so we see that, I see this sometimes, it's like people come back and I notice their curl pattern is loose and like, oh, my curl's messed up. I got some straight ends. And what happened? They went home, they getting ready for work every day and they're like, oh, let me just hit this right quick. Let me just hit this right here right quick because it's, it's frizzy. And you keep, you know, so you keep putting heat, heat and heat on your hair, it's going gonna, it's gonna to damage your hair. And like one of my other clients did, she was using that titanium. And that titanium flat iron ain't no joke. Okay, them things get hot. Okay, them things get hot, hot. So she was hitting her head up every day. So minimize the heat. Minimize the heat. And so what I'm explaining, and I've explained this before, but it bears repeating, the difference between direct heat and indirect heat. Indirect heat is heat that is heating your hair head but not actually touching it. So, for example, hooded dryers is an example of indirect heat. The steamer is indirect heat. Direct heat is like your flat irons. Like when the sometimes the uh, handheld blow dryer can be direct heat. So my thing is most of the time is if you have if you want your hair to dry a little bit and you don't want to put a whole lot of heat on it use the hooded dryer to soak up most of the moisture first sometimes i do this with some of my clients with blowouts who might have a lot of hair i might sit them up on the hooded dryer just to get some most of the moisture out so it's not like dripping dripping wet it just kind of depends and then i go in with the blow dryer so if you can use the hooded dryer first good or if you can let it air dry a little bit first good do that before you apply that the direct heat because using a whole lot of direct heat on your hair like these flat irons and stuff and these curling irons can cause some damage so make sure you're being mindful of that and also make sure you are using a heat protectant before you blow dry i got this question a while back and some people ask should i use it before i flat iron or before i blow dry before you put any kind of heat on your head so as you get out the shampoo bowl, or after you finish shampooing your hair, and you have to blow dry it, you want to put the heat protection on your hair while it's still wet and blow dry your hair. And now they got so fancy. I was on, um, what was I watching? Probably YouTube video, and they showed a little advertisement. And now they have the brushes where you can just brush to, um, you can blow dry. What I'm trying to say blow dry and brush at the same time that is a form of direct heat so make sure if you're doing that you putting the heat protectant on your hair and the debt demolisher said I don't even use my foot irons anymore that's why I only rely on my sponge rollers I'll be saving them so Phil said she be saving them blowouts you is right so so you be saving them blowouts you heard me You'll be saving them. Yes. And that's and I'm glad you said that. So so if you have a, a blowout and you got curls, yes, use them sponge rollers. They still work. You can use flexi rods to keep your curls. You can do pin curls to keep them curls. Or you can do an old school wrap. Oh, well, you really old school. You do that doobie wrap. Yeah. Y'all remember them doobies? Boy, I remember $10 uh, doobies on Tuesday. Boy, I got that refund check. You couldn't tell me nothing. 
Miss Angie used to come pick us up on Fevel State campus. Shout out to Miss Angie. I don't know if she ever gonna watch this one day, but she used to come pick us up. We ain't have no car freshman year. We get them $10 doobies. You couldn't tell me nothing. Couldn't tell me nothing with them $10 doobies, boy. That was the thing when I was in school. That was the thing, boy. $10 doobie. I was doing something. When I got my little refund check, even though it was $10, slide her $20. Slide her $20 like I was doing something. <laughs> but we had to get it on Tuesday. It was college. It was college night. So I used to slide her a little 20 and got my little refund check. I was a big ball of shot caller. You know what I'm saying? My roommate ain't get her a refund check. I'm like, you want a doobie? Come on, girl. Let's get us doobies. Okay? Let's get us doobies. And we slide over to Bojangles. We got to eat off campus. We really thought we was doing something. It was a major sidebar. But anyway. But yes. Burn it straight off. Burn it straight off messing with that titanium. You sure will burn your hair straight off. Slam off. And here's another thing. If your hair. Don't flat on dirty hair too. That's another thing. Like say. You have been wearing your hair in a twist out for a week. Or say. It's been about two weeks since you shampoo your hair and you playing around and let's say you've been putting gel or other stuff on your hair or just kind of like spritzers or it ain't no telling what you put on your hair and you go and hit that put that flat iron on your on your hair and it's dirty you're gonna really damage it you're really gonna fry that you're really gonna cook that hair so be mindful of flat ironing dirty hair as well that's why i say leave them flat irons alone let the Lord do his work. If it done fringed out, sis, it's over. It's over. It's over now. No more rainy days. No, no more cloudy days. They're all gone. Gone away. I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. Can you help me say it's over now? That was in my spirit. Somebody need to hear that. It's over now. Take, take the protective style out. That's going to lead into tip number four. And put a number four in the chat if you're ready for number four. Uh, uh, the deck demolished said doobies. And Acacia said hit the like button, kings and queens. Uh, Queen Heart said, I don't know why I always get the clip in the clip roller prints. Probably how you placing the pins, how you placing it. Some kind of way you got to place it under the curl, under. Uh, yeah, clip roller prints. What you laughing at the clip roller prints? Now, I hope your mind ain't in the gutter. You can tell not about that life from the lingo. Oh, okay. I, I know, I know what you were saying. Okay, the the monster said, "What's the best kind of gel to use for naturals? Are you mean like edge control or like gel for like twist?" My my go to is still Eco Styler. That's that's still my go to. The one in the green bottle, and I I use either Eco Styler or I use the organic styling gel. I'll use either one. That's still my the best kind for me for naturals. All right. Oh, to get slick ponytails. Oh, yes. Now, I'm going to say two things about that, uh, that demolisher. So, when you say slick ponytail, because I have a video on my page on how to do a slick ponytail on natural hair, and I did two different looks. I did the slick ponytail. If the fake ponytail you're going to put on, it's going to be curly. Like, if you're trying to do a slick ponytail with your curly hair, or you're trying to do a slick ponytail with bone straight hair. Because it's two different type of gels you need to use. Now, if you want your ponytail to have texture, like curly hair, I say use a gel that's like a water base, like your eco styling, like the style, like eco styling gels, like the little jelly kind of gels. Those. Or if you're doing something and you want it to be slick, like bone straight, like you got a relaxer, or you want it to be some straight hair where you can swing, I say to blow your hair out. Like you getting a blowout and then use like an edge control to slick it down. Edge control to slick it down. Okay. Because you don't want to, if it's, if you're trying to get that smooth look, you don't want to use something like Eco Styler because it's going to make your hair revert back, if that makes sense. You want to use more of like pomades, um, 
like pomades and kind of like holding sprays because you don't want it really to revert. So it depends on the look you're going for. And I think I got both looks on my page. I'm going to have to go find a video because I did it like last year sometime. I got, and child, that slit down ponytail lasts for like a good hot two days. But that's all I needed it for. That's all I needed it for at the time. All right. All right. So number four. Oh, yeah, number four, I was going to say about things you should not be doing is going into one protective style to the next. Like, you take out your box spray today and you put in more box spray today. That's another thing that you should not be doing to your natural hair. It's causing too much stress, too much tension. You should not be going in protective styles back to back to back. Okay? Now, for example, like, I have in this as a style if i want to take this out next week and do another flat twist that's fine what i mean is like taking out box braids something that you add an extensions to so you might have box braids in you might have a crochet in weave in that's a big one right there people be taking out weave and sew in and the same day they're taking it out they putting another one back in I don't recommend that. I, I honestly, I don't. I do not recommend that. I understand some people got to do what they got to do. But, sis, if you want to save them edges, give your scalp time to breathe. Give it time to breathe. Mic check one two one two. Can y'all hear me? Y'all can't hear me. Um, y'all can't hear me. Can you hear me? One in the chat. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Put a thumbs up. Put a thumbs up. Okay, I just re plugged my mic microphone back up. Can y'all can hear me now? I think we good. I see Queen Heart got a thumbs up. Okay, look at the devil trying to get up in here. We, we rebuke the, we bind that enemy. We bind it right now. Okay, so, um, all right, the, the monster said, awesome, thank you. Okay, I'm glad that helped like those relationships. No one to the next. Okay, I don't know what caused it to go on mute, but anyway, thank y'all for letting me know. So, yeah, what I was saying is about the protective, protective styles, not going, not jumping it out of one and going to the next. So, your hair needs time. Did y'all hear me say that? Your hair needs time for nourishment. You probably need to take it out, do a treatment, trim. It needs time to breathe. And then, also, if you've gotten these braids and stuff, that's a lot of tension, a lot of stress in your hair. So, it needs time to recover. So that's why I always say do not be going in protective styles back to back to back. Let it breathe, sis. Let it get some more strength, okay? So, yeah. Okay. All right, so y'all ready for what we on, number five? We on number five? Number five. This is a good one. Y'all go ahead and put number five in the chat. Number five in the chat. <laughs> Number five, what you should not be doing to your hair. What you should not be doing 
is going up here to the food line, to the Harris Teeter, to the Publix, to the Wegmans, to the whatever grocery store that's in your area. And going in there getting the olive oil, going in there getting the coconut, going in the cooking section getting the coconut oil, the olive oil, then going over there getting some eggs, then going over there to get some mayonnaise, and putting it on your hair. And what you shouldn't do, and while we're on it, you should not be going to go buy the rice, go come home, boil the rice, drain the uh, water from the rice, and putting it on your hair. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm telling y'all, stop going, stop buying the avoc avocados are expensive. I love avocados. Stop buying the avocados, stop buying the bananas, buying the raw honey, and put and mashing all up together and putting it on your hair. Like the demolition to say, shall I step harder? I think she I think she be staring without blinking, like how she do that? Like she be like Shall I blink harder? Okay. So you should not be getting these kitchen items and putting it on your head. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all working too hard. Y'all working too hard unless you're a chemist. But I don't even, chemists don't even do that. Chemists don't do that. Find, find you a chemist. I had to let that pe be known because people be putting stuff on the internet and they be like, yeah, just make my hair grow. And I told y'all about that. It be, I, I can sell y'all anything. I can, I can get up here. Y'all already say, Lisa, your hair is nice, thick and full. I can get up here and be like, oh yeah, I put honey on my hair and make my hair grow. Girl, your hair was already growing. Okay. Now I just got a good question and it say, yes, what about aloe vera? And I have seen people putting aloe vera on their hair. I have mixed feelings about it. I'm not totally opposed to it. I'm not totally opposed to it because I have seen some good benefits of the aloe vera. I had to do more research, but it makes sure it's been used in the same way. So I'm not totally knocking aloe vera. I'm not. I'm not totally because it's a, it's a plant product and it has good properties and stuff for your hair. So I'm not going to totally knock it. But what I'm saying is getting these foods because what I learned from a class I took a long time ago, and they were saying how the different kind of, like, we might get hair products. Like, for example, I sell the honey almond shampoo. Does it have honey and almond in it? Yes. They kind of pull some kind of extract from it the, for the properties for it to be in the, you know, in the shampoo. Now, is she going up here to, I don't know, the grocery store? No. Maybe she is. I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna have to holler. I'm gonna have to holler at my chemist. I'm gonna holler. I'm like, hey, hey, did you go to the grocery store and get this? Oh, how does the process work? How does it work? Okay, how does it work? I just told her what I what I need in it, what I don't, what I do. I'm gonna have to holler at her because y'all, I'm pretty sure they're not doing it. And plus. And plus, also, those molecules sometimes are too big to break down into our hair shaft. So, they're really not even doing nothing but just sitting on top and giving the appearance that it's doing something. Like, those things have to be broken down. And then, also, with those different kind of foods, they have to be mixed with other kind of chemicals and ingredients for them to actually penetrate into the hair shaft. That's why I say putting all this stuff on your head is probably not working, sis. That's why there's products. That's why there's products. So, this stop working too hard. And the only thing about aloe vera, I'm not really sure, but I have seen some people using it. But, again, I would have to do more research on it to see if that's actually legit. I do. Um, <laughs> Casey said, Lisa, stop. 
<laughs> Sorry. When Lisa closed her eyes and ran her hands over her face, she is serious. <laughs> I do be doing it. I feel like, y'all, <laughs> I be tired. I be through with y'all. I be through. <laughs> L.O. eliminated my flakes. Yes. Now, I ain't even gonna lie. I seen one hairstylist. She was taking the aloe vera plant and rub it, rubbing it on um, the client's scalp. And it did get rid of the flakes. And the only reason why I say I feel different about that, because also if you have eczema, I heard the aloe vera plant is good for those with eczema. So I'm like, you know, your scalp is like skin too. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like skin of your body, but it's up here. So it's still skin. So that's why I'm like, I feel a little bit different about the whole aloe, aloe vera plant. But that other stuff y'all putting in your head, forget it, forget it, oh, forget it. Stop, stop. I was in the grocery store and the rice is sold out. Why y'all buying up all the rice? Trying to make rice water. Y'all eating the rice and you're putting it on your hair. All right. Um, hey, hey, you're just going, you just going to go to the grocery store. <laughs> And again, I'm not saying it's even some products that out here that say rice water. And they capitalize on it because they're like, oh, y'all doing it at home anyway. So we about to put this up here and say rice water. Now, I had to do some more research on the whole, see if rice has any benefits. But again, even if you see a product on the shelf that has rice water, now, that would be wrong if she really done went out here and bought some rice and put it in a jar and selling it. And now she making millions. What we just talk about on So So Live. If they don't have it, make it up. Make it up. And people going to buy it. And especially if you're a influencer. And especially if you already got an established hairline. I ain't talking about the sister. Hey, get, get, get that money, sis. But if you already got an established hairline. And you already see people online. This is the truth now. People ain't gonna people ain't gonna tell you this, but you already got your established hairline at this point. So we already sold into your business. At this point, you can sell us Dookie and we're gonna buy it. Well, I'm not, but I'm just saying. Put it in there and be like, oh, this has benefits. It's the bacteria in the stuff that has benefits, and people are gonna buy it. It lets you know the power of influence. The power of influence. So, that's all I'm saying. You know she did. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Okay, so where we at? at number six. I might give y'all. Oh, it's, it's coming up on 10 o'clock. I'm about to get ready. I need to get ready to go to bed. Because, look, I got me a little routine. I said, I need to get back to my routine. We've been up here 48 minutes. So, I'm going to stay up here 12 more minutes. And I'm getting off. Do a good hour on y'all. Yeah, I think we got number six. Okay, if you're ready for number six, go ahead and put in uh in the chat. Yes, the power of influence. Okay, number six is putting conditioner on your hair. This is what you should not be doing. Putting conditioner directly on your scalp. Now, if you are you already a part of my channel, you watch me for a lot uh, a while. You already know this. What do I say? Shampoo is for the conditioner is for the go ahead and fill it in for somebody who might not know. Shampoo is for the scalp. Conditioner is for the hair strands. Shampoo is for the scalp. Conditioner is for the hair strands. Okay. So why do I say that? It's because condi conditioner, conditioner, like my dear. Conditioner supposed to condition and make the hair soft. Okay, it has moisturizing properties, and the shampoo is for the scalp because it's supposed to cleanse the scalp and remove all the product buildup, unclog that scalp so that hair can grow. Okay, okay. We want to keep our foundation nice and clean, and we do that by putting the shampoo directly on the scalp. Now, some people say, oh, we're not supposed to get on the hair. No, that's fine. You want to put it on the scalp, then you work your way down. You work your way down, okay? You work your way down, all right? 
Yes, y'all got it right. Y'all got it right. Scalp and hair. And Acacia say shampoo is for the scalp, conditioner is for the hair strands. Thank you. So we shouldn't include the scalp off of GP. GP, are you with me? Oh yeah, we are the church and corner. What you mean, GP? GP, are you with me? Oh yeah, you on the church and going nowhere. Stomp. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Stomp. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Stomp. i what is GP though? I really want to know. I'm sorry, I started singing. Okay. So yeah. Oh, general purpose. Queen Heart. Girl, if you don't type that stuff out. If you don't type that stuff out. <laughs> okay, so we should include the scalp off of general purpose. Okay, and so general purposes or general principle. I mean, just be doing the most. Girl, take, girl, take that stuff out. <laughs> but, oh, um, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to swing at you. I know you can fight. I know you can fight. Let me stop because Queen Heart said she coming out the corner swinging. Let me, I, let, let me stop swinging because I don't fight. <laughs> Y'all already know the rest. I don't fight. <laughs> I ain't want y'all to see me. I ain't want y'all to see me. Talking about my long straw. I ain't want y'all to see me. Okay, my bad. Now, what I will say about the conditioner is rubbing it on your mid shaft to your ends. Mid shaft to the ends. Because remember, the ends is the oldest part of your hair. Oldest part of your hair. So you want to make sure that's getting moisturized. Now, if you just so happen to get on your scalp, that's fine. But don't be purposely trying to rub it on your scalp. Trying to stay away from your scalp. Okay? And... And Acacia said, visit the website for various shampoos and conditions specific to you and your needs at stylefleecesmiles.com. Thank you, Acacia. And that demolish is kicking. Acacia said, that that fight and that long straw. Acacia. Acacia. Send my nephew back over here tonight. Send my nephew. Nephew Bryson, he's staying this week, this week. I'm going to take him to soccer practice. We got to go lay you at the altar. Worried about my long straw. Worried about my long straw. You hear me? Shall I blink harder? Shall I blink? Queen Heart said, nah, I meant swinging because so-so was discussing swinging the ass intentionally. Okay, Queen Heart. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, she put Lisa got, you mean Lisa got the juice. Oh, Coach Haru, how you doing? Thank you for joining Coach Haru. I ain't seen you on So So Live, but thank you for joining Coach Haru. She said she late, but she listening in. Thank you for listening, okay? And everybody saying greetings to Coach Haru. T said, did I hear somebody say Y'all need deliverance. We're going to have a deliverance server service for y'all, Acacia and T-Will. We're going to have a deliverance service because T-Will ain't said nothing the whole live. But she decided to slide in on this long straw. That's old Jezebel spirit. We're going to call that out tonight. Old Jezebel spirit worried about a long straw. Worried about a long straw. We talking about hair. Talking about hair. We gonna have a deliverance service. We gonna have a deliverance service because y'all need deliverance. Y'all, y'all minds are nasty, nasty. Yeah, they cutting up. They cutting up already. Cutting up already. Let's go, T. Will. We up here. Don't encourage her, Acacia. Don't encourage her. I encourage her. In case you supposed to be the head of us, you supposed to know better. Let me mind my business because in case you probably can fight too. Because the way how she be checking me, she probably can fight. And remember, I don't fight. <laughs> Y'all know the rest. I. <laughs> okay, number seven. We got to go ahead and 
Round this up. We got six more minutes. Number seven. Do I got a number seven? Number seven. Number seven is another thing you should not be doing is detangling your hair while it is dry. While it is dry. I was watching another video. I'm here. Uh-huh. I hear you, T. Will. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the number seven is you should not be detangling dry hair. When the dry, when the hair is dry, it's more likely to break. So if you having a hard time detangling, it's breast is it's breast. <laughs> it's best to spray a detangler or use a conditioner to kind of soften it up. Okay. And then also you need to be very, very careful when your hair is like soaking wet with conditioner on it. Remember, it's very soft. So also when it's real, real soft, it can be very, very weak and also liable to break. So be very gentle with your hair also when it's completely wet, completely wet, okay? All right. Um... <laughs> okay, she said she ushered me and T Will to our deliverance. Lay at the altar. Lay at the altar tonight. Okay, lay at the altar. And then she said, glide on over to the light button. All right, glide on over to the light button. Glide on over to the light button. Okay, if you're getting value from this. Okay, so remember when it's dry, you don't want it to be soaking wet, but just a little bit of moisture. To loosen it up and detangle with it. And this will also help for those who are extremely tender-headed. Extremely tender-headed, okay? Queen Heart said, makes me cringe. I can literally hear my hair popping out when I detangle dry. Yeah. yeah. So just spray. You got that honey almond leave-in. Just spray a little bit of that. Or spray a little bit of water on your hair to kind of like just... Just give it a little bit of moisture. You don't want to get like soaking wet. Because like I said, when it's soaking, soaking wet and you have the conditioner on it, be gentle with your hair when you detangle it. Be gentle, okay? Because it's, it's weaker. Okay, number eight. Number eight. This one kind of feed off of what I just said about conditioner. Nothing you shouldn't be doing. You shouldn't be sleeping in your conditioner overnight. Don't do it. Put number eight in the chat if you just heard me say that. You should not be sleeping in your conditioner overnight. Lisa, ooh, ooh, excuse me, why shouldn't I sleep in my conditioner overnight? Because you're making your hair extra weak. Remember I just said when your hair, it got the conditioner on it, it's softening it up. Those con conditioners have a time lapse. If you say 15 minutes, go ahead and rinse, rinse it out. It didn't gave what it need to gave. Well, what y'all be saying a lot, it didn't gave what it need to gave or give what it gave. Y'all know what I'm saying. But after that, go ahead and rinse it out. Because when you sleep in the overnight, you just making it worse. You making it, it's, I think it's called hydro fatigue. Y'all ever see like kids or maybe you, like if you're in the bathtub for a real long time, how your fingers start looking all wrinkled or how you've been in the pool and stuff, start looking all wrinkled and stuff like that. Because you've been in that water for a long time. It just Your skin is feel fragile and weak. Same thing with your hair. That's why you should not sleep in it overnight. I know some of y'all thinking like, oh, girl, I be lazy, I be tired. Girl, you better rinse that conditioner out. You better rinse it out before you go to bed. Don't sleep in it. Don't sleep in it. Don't do it. Go ahead and rinse it out, okay? Number nine. Number nine. Acacia says she slept in conditioner before, won't do that anymore. Yeah, now that you know better, you're going to do better, okay? You know, that, that's part of your deliverance right there, Acacia. Right there. That's, that's another thing that's going to set you free. It's not sleeping in that condition no more. It gave what it needed to give. Yeah, that's what they be saying. <laughs> Lana said, hey, I used to be guilty of this deep conditioning for a whole day. Yes. i definitely seen people do that. They, like, they will go to work with deep conditioner on their hair. Like, they... Well, put the conditioner on, put that little wrap, turban wrap on, and be at work all day with conditioner on their hair. It is not good. It is not good. All right? Uh, Acacia said she received it. Acacia must got her hands lifted up. Amen, Acacia. Amen. 
that the mom just said, I could have sworn the longer you keep it in, the softer it gets for C hair problems. Yeah. Yeah, it is true. The longer you keep it in, yeah, the softer it will get. But it can get to the point where it's too soft and now it's going to be breaking even more easily. So that's why we said if the thing say 10 to 15 minutes, it done gave what it needed to give. Rinse it out. Rinse it out. And sometimes the people who do who overdo that, they hair be popping and breaking so quick because you just don't wore that thing slam out. You don't wore that conditioner out. You know, wearing that conditioner out in, on your head. Rinse it out. Rinse it out. Tracy Ann said it can get soft and mushy feeling. Yes. Yes, soft and mushy. Q Scott said makes so much sense. Um, Coach Ruth said, do you recommend the old school cholesterol treatment or or porosity or not need it anymore with all these new uh, products? To me, it's really not needed. It's really not needed in my opinion because things have changed. Products have changed that it's really not needed. But if, there's, if people want to still do that, whatever floats your boat, let it float. <laughs> but honestly, it's really not needed anymore. Okay, and so number eight, let me see if I got two. Do I got two more in me? Okay, number nine. I got to put number nine in the chat. Oh, I said that one. That one. Oh, this. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. But it's it's a no brainer too. Uh, number nine is use a, a fine tooth comb to detangle your hair. A fine tooth. And I had to say this because I'm telling you, y'all would be surprised how people still be coming up in there and they be know, and I be asking them questions and they be using the wrong tools. I have a video that I did a couple months ago showing you what to, what's the right tools to use for your hair. You should not be using a fine tooth comb to detangle your hair. You should not. You want to use a wide tooth comb. Now, y'all have seen me on my live doing my own hair, how I will detangle with a fine tooth comb. But, like, if I'm doing, like, a twist like this, sometimes I take a fine tooth comb and, like, comb it out. But, in my defense, I have already detangled with a wide tooth comb or a detangling brush. Then I went in with that. And also... If you're going to detangle with a fine tooth comb, you need to make sure it's a small section. Like, say you got this one twist, but it already has been detangled thoroughly with a wide tooth comb. If you want to go on wide tooth comb, you can. Start from the ends and work your way up. But initially, don't be going there with a no wide tooth comb. You should not be doing it. You should not be doing it, okay? Not. Not. And number 10... Yeah, number 10. Y'all ready for number 10? Put it in the chat. Oh, Tracy Ann said she was washing dishes. Yeah, I ain't seen Tracy Ann in the chat. I know that's right, Tracy Ann. Uh, your time is valuable. You better multitask. You hear me? Multitask. Hey, Tracy Ann, just got on about 10 minutes, okay? So y'all are ready for the last one? The last thing I'm going to say is you should not be putting color in your hair if your hair is not healthy. Period. That's what you shouldn't be doing. That's the last thing you should be doing. If your hair ain't up to par, if your edges ain't up to par, if your ends ain't up to par, if your hair ain't moisturized, if you'll be getting protein treatments, if your edges are compromised, your ends are compromised, you only got one strand of hair right here, you should not be putting color in your head. You absolutely not. Absolutely not. If you are if you the type of person you lazy and you do not like to do your hair, you might be one of those people like, I don't like doing my hair. I ain't got time for no hair enrichment. You don't need to put no color in your hair. Point blank, period. I don't care. You don't cause you don't know how to wrap your hair at night. You don't even know how to put a bonnet on at night. You trying to look cute with your little boo and not wear a scarf at night. You don't get your treatments. You don't trim your ends. You win one percent of style to another percent of style. What you getting color for anyway? If you slapping in braids this month, so in another month, you don't need no color. Because you don't you don't keep it up. Wait for the Lord to move in your life. Wait for the Lord to move in your hair life. 
Wait till you get your hair regimen up. Wait till you get serious about your natural hair. Then put color in there. I don't want to like the girl on Instagram. I seen this picture on Pinterest. What them edges? I'm, sis, what them edges look like? What that scalp look like? What them ends look like? What that hair regimen look like? Get your life in order. Then you go holler at somebody about some color. Okay? Get, get it in order. Because y'all know I'm about healthy hair first. Healthy hair first. And we five minutes over. But we about to go ahead and go. Um, It says number 10. Okay, Queen Heart said... What's your opinion on the least damaging brush for ponytails? Um, the least damaging brush, I would say the soft brush, but the soft brush don't give what it needs to give. Like if you're really trying to slick it back. When it comes to brushes, just make sure your hair is already moisturized and make sure you're not overdoing it. Like, if you're going to be brushing your hair every day, like up into a puff or up into a slip bit ponytail, make sure your hair is moisturized. Like you got some nice slip on it. Go holler at Tracy Ann, get you some oil. Get you some oil so you can have some nice slip or a serum, whatever you're trying to do. Just That's the whole old thing. The only thing about brushes because sometimes if you're trying to get that slip bit ponytail, you do need one of those hard bristle brushes. But just be mindful of using those hard brushes all the time on your hair, okay? So that was a great question, Queen Heart. I like that question. And y'all over there kicking. Queen Heart said, I had to keep it real with myself and keep moving past the color out. Show better. Show better. Show better. If you just really wanted to color your hair, I say do like a rinse, like an old school rinse. And really, that's going to really only show up unless you already have, like, lightly colored hair. Like, say you had some previous color, like a blonde or something on your hair, and you just want to put something on top. It's kind of like fingernail polish. You're just putting it on top. Something that's ain't any really penetrating in your hair. It's just sitting on top. But, again, that that, that rinse is only going to show up. Like, y'all see me? I got my little gray hairs up here. So, so, sometimes I'll put, like, a little rinse or something up there to cover that. But... After a couple of shampoos, it's going to rinse right on out, child. But all this bleaching and blonding and, girl, go sit down. Get you some, get you a protective style and get color in it. And when you get your box braids, if you want color, do it that way. If you get a sew in instead of getting jet black, if you want to add some little highlights or something, get colored in. They'll be your color. Okay, they'll be your color. All right. Um, Acacia said, I find that my hair is growing since I've been washing it twice a week and wearing two strand twists or two braids. Come on, Acacia. Yes, Acacia. I am so happy to hear that. I am so happy to hear that. That your hair it has been growing. And you said you wash it twice a week and you wear two strand twists or two braids. Acacia over there putting that work. Acacia over there putting that work. You hear me? And Queen Heart said, yep, it's going to rinse right onto your shoulders once the moisture hit it. <laughs> it sure is. It sure is. But that's the 10 things. Now, there's more. There's more. But we're going we're gonna to go ahead and leave the Bible study off right here and pick up this another night. I don't know if used to say that, but we're going to go ahead and stop right here tonight and pick it up another night. Pick it up another night, okay? We'll pick it up another night, Okay. Because I feel like we still need to do a part two about the whole dry hair. Because y'all had a whole lot of questions that night. And um, if y'all have anything that y'all want me to discuss on my live stream. Or a topic that y'all want me to go in. Y'all go ahead and put that in the comments. And let your girl know we can do a live stream on, on it. And go on for the detail. And look. Like I told y'all begin this live. You know somebody that be doing all these things to their hair. Go ahead and share this. Go ahead and share it out, sis. Stop being stingy. Go ahead and share the video out. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. Her hair be jacked up. It be jacked up. Let me go ahead and see this video. Because she's going to get a good laugh. She's going to get a good laugh and get a little word in her. We're going to sing. We're going to do praise and worship. We're going to do all that. Okay. We're going to do all that. And thank you, sis. If she shared the video to you and you made it to this point, I appreciate you. And thank you for watching. I ain't gonna make it, y'all. Good night. Well, we about to end anyway. We about to end. Okay. Okay. We about to end. She's like, look, Lisa, wrap it.
it up. Wrap it up, Pastor. Wrap it up. <laughs> Long as there. Wrap it up, sis. <laughs> Wrap it up. Okay? You know I'm going to talk about you because you're coming to get your hair done tomorrow. You know I'm going to talk about you. You know I'm going to kiki and talk about you. So you better have your hair together, okay? <laughs> But anyway, let me go ahead and get a benediction because Lana ready to go to sleep. She ready to go to bed. She ready to go to bed. So you can get a benediction if your if your life ain't right. Not as bad as my life. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Thank y'all for just coming up and showing up for your girl. Y'all just encourage me just to keep on getting up here and give y'all these gems. I really do appreciate the Smiles Tribe. And I'll see y'all in another live stream. Bye! Ouch! Bye! <laughs>